Ezekiel 33, 6. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but the blood I'll require of the watchman's hand. Luke chapter 21 verse 11 And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from the heaven. Luke chapter 21 verse 25 And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth the stress of nations, with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. Matthew 24 verses 32 through 34 now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise, when you shall see all these things, ye know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass, until all these things be fulfilled. The body of Christ that's on fire, the body of Christ that keeps their lamps full. We understand the signs that God has given us, in regards to the return of his kingdom. God teaches us, we won't know the day, we won't know the hour of his return, but we will know the season, we will know when his kingdom is at the door. God teaches us and gives us several different signs, from the heavens, to the earth, to Jerusalem, and he teaches us, when you see these signs beginning to come to pass, you're to know the parable of the fig tree, likewise knowing that his kingdom is at the door. God is very clear concerning his signs in regards to the return of his kingdom. He teaches us that we'll have great signs in the heavens, great signs on the earth. God teaches us that we'll have signs in the sun, moon, and stars during the time of distress of nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. We're witnessing these signs coming to pass at an increasing rate, at a dramatic rate. Just recently, the United States has been witnessing Luke 21 verse 25 coming to pass. Signs in the heavens, distress of nations, perplexity amongst nations, the seas and the waves roaring. The word of God is extremely clear. Just recently, Italy has been witnessing Luke 21 verse 11. Earthquakes in diverse places during a time of famines, pestilence, fearful sights, and great signs in the heavens. They just got hit with three major earthquakes back to back, hitting their city in a week. The word of God is extremely clear. While we're witnessing famines and pestilence and fearful sights hitting every other nation, we're witnessing the great signs in the heavens. God teaches us that these signs will be numerous amongst the sun, moon, and stars. Luke 21 verse 25 declares it. He teaches us it will be during a time of distress of nations with perplexity. America is sitting here in distress. America is sitting here perplexed, witnessing all the things coming against America. They don't even have a good president to vote for, a decent human being to vote for. The judgment of God is at hand. The word of God is extremely clear. We're witnessing the earthquakes all throughout America. We're witnessing the nasty, sinful, iniquity abounding all throughout the nation. We're witnessing disgusting laws being passed. And God teaches us, when we're seeing these signs, when it looks like the days of Noah, when it looks like the days of Lot, when you see people turning away from God, when you see the nations turning away from God, when you see the heavens, when you see the earth declaring his kingdom at the door, you're to understand that your redemption draweth nigh. And entire nations, entire groups, members of the body of Christ, their lamps are half full and oblivious to these signs coming to pass. How is it when the heavens declare his handiwork? How is it when the earth is shaking in his presence? The word of God is extremely clear. No scientist, no last day mocker or scoffer could rebuke these signs. You're simply a last day sign. The word of God is extremely clear. 
And in regards to this video, we've been witnessing the super signs in the heavens, the great signs in the heavens, written in Luke 21, verse 11, written in Luke 21, verse 25, signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Last month in October, continual signs in the stars all around the planet, hitting every single nation. We've been witnessing signs in the moon, continual signs in the moon, from blood moons, unscheduled blood moons, super moons, every single different kind of sign in the moon you could think of. God is showing us. He controls the heavens. The heavens obey. The earth obeys. The wind and the waves obey. The word of God is extremely clear. We're seeing every single one of his signs, from the heavens to the earth to the seas and the waves roaring. What is unclear about these signs? There's no way that any single American could say that they are unaware of these signs. You're sitting in a nation where you're allowed to follow God, where you have room to, to follow the body of Christ, to be in the body of Christ, to know the signs that he has given us. Are you seeing any of these things taught in the churches? Are you seeing any of these things taught on, on, on your gospel TV shows? Of course not. It's that feel good, lukewarm, watered down message. But the heavens declare his kingdom is at the door. The earth declares and is shaking that his kingdom is at the door. What is unclear about these signs? We're going to see in this video more great signs in the heavens. Just as God promised. The heavens declare his handiwork. God tells us. In Genesis, that the heavens are for signs and seasons. And in regards to the last day signs, he's showing us continually in the sun, moon, and stars different types of signs in the moon. From blood moons, unscheduled blood moons, super moons, harvest super moons, just strange different combinations all happening at the same time, breaking scientific and historical boundaries that we could record. And what you're going to see in this video, a super moon is about to hit our planet this month on November 14th, one that hasn't been seen in over 70 years, pretty much since when Jerusalem became a state. May 14th, 1948, almost 70 years later, November 14th, 2016. If we're looking at lunar calendars, God's signs are clear. If we're just looking at the signs in the moon, God's signs are extremely clear. There's no debating any one of these signs. The greatest supermoon to be seen in over 70 years, pretty much since Israel became a nation, during a time of every single nation trying to divide God's land, only God could ordain the signs in the heavens and the sun, moon, and stars. We've been witnessing super signs in the heavens, signs in the stars, and God continues with the signs in the moon. Just last month, two weeks ago, we had a super moon all around the planet. A couple months before that, or a couple weeks before that, going on in the same pattern for weeks. And if we look a couple years out, a couple years back, we've been witnessing unscheduled blood moons, scheduled blood moons, all kinds of great signs in the heavens. In the body of Christ, their lamps are still half full. The people on this planet, they have no idea that God's feet are about to hit the earth and that judgment is upon them. His signs are extremely clear. There's not too many other signs left. And for these foolish mockers and, and scoffers to say that these things have been happening in times past. The only time this stuff has happened in times past is when God has dealt with nations in the same way. Like in the days of Noah. Like in the days of Lot. The word of God is extremely clear. But affliction will not rise a second time. And God's going to destroy the enemy. And destroy the demons. And the kingdoms of this earth will become the Lord's. This planet is his footstool. We're here to be tried and refined in the refiner's fire. And people on this planet want to choose mammon in this planet when God's signs are extremely clear 
America has turned away from the word of God. And we've been given great signs in the heavens. Been given great signs on the earth. Amongst every single nation. Just last month, America got hit with Hurricane Matthew. The seas and the waves roaring. Breaking all scientific boundaries. There's no debating any one of these signs. And God gives us continual signs on different levels that are coming to pass also. There is no debating. Let's look at this article quickly. A super full moon going to be seen amongst every single nation that hasn't hit in 70 years. Since 1948, when Israel became a state, the word of God is extremely clear. Any nation that tries to touch his land, his people, God will destroy you. He's already pulling you in with the hook in your jaw, just as it is written in Ezekiel 38 and 39, and he will destroy you. The word of God is extremely clear. That lukewarm, watered down, cotton candy body of Christ, you better get paying attention to God's words. Every single promise from salvation to his return. He didn't waste his time giving us these signs. Just because you're unaware doesn't mean they're not coming to pass. Let's look at these articles quickly. Here we have the article titled, Biggest Supermoon Since Israel Became a Nation. This month, Christians see signs of Jesus' second coming. Great signs in the heavens. Signs in the moon. This article is published today, November 6, 2016. Here we have another article titled, Supersized, November Supermoon Will Be Biggest in Nearly 70 Years, Signs in the Moon. This article was published a couple days ago, November 3rd, 2016. Here's another article titled, Here's How to See the Biggest Supermoon Since 1948, Great Signs in the Heavens, Signs in the Moon. This article was published a few days ago, November 2nd, 2016. One of the more notable moons, the harvest moon. This is because the fields have already been harvested and this is when animals needed to be killed and stored because winter is coming soon. There's also what's known as the super moon where the moon can be as much as 14% bigger and 30% brighter. This occurs during the closest approach the moon makes to the earth on its orbit. Every now and then, we get a couple of bonus moons. You see, the lunar calendar is roughly 29 days, but our monthly calendar is mostly 30 to 31 days. So every now and then, you will get two full moons in one calendar month. When you have two full moons in a calendar month, the second one is called the blue moon. And when you have two new moons in a calendar month, the second moon is called the black moon, which is pretty much the only moon that matches its name because it's invisible to us on Earth, appearing black. What's with all that howling? Take one look at the night sky on November 14th and you'll understand what all the fuss is about. You'll be treated to the biggest supermoon in almost 70 years. Scientists say this month's supermoon will be the biggest so far of the 21st century, and we won't see another behemoth like this until November 25th, 2034. What is a supermoon? A full moon that occurs when the moon is at its closest point of approach in its orbit around Earth. Astronomers call that point perigee. When it's that close, supermoons can appear to be 14% bigger and 30% brighter than other full moons, according to NASA. Weather permitting, you should be able to see it no matter where you are in the world. Astronomers and common sense tells us they're best viewed at night, away from the bright lights of a big city. Supermoons aren't all that rare. November's stellar event is one of three to occur in the last three months rounding out 2016. There was one October 16th, and there will be another on December 14th. But this one is special because it will appear so big and bright. So snap a picture. 